Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the reactive functions. So you might have seen in my previous videos that I have been using, so let me go back to R and I've been using the functions like render table, render print, render plot. These are all reactive functions which changes based on the user input and gives the output which goes back to UI within the main panel and get displayed with the help of the table output, verbatim text output or plot output function. So different output functions that are present. And if you have seen my previous video, this is what we have created the different tab sets where we were using the MPG along with the different uh, field values that are present here, which is changing based on the user selection. Similarly, in case of summary, it was changing based on whatever we are changing. Similarly, here in case of cylinders, I have given you the example hope you have uh, you have uh, done that but if you have not then I'm showing you here in this uh, in this video that how you can do that all right so let's see the requirement of the reactive function so let me close this so the requirement of uh, reactive function is in the server script and if you are seeing that we are using this empty cars statement here again here and down there again here within the uh, for displaying different types of summaries plots or charts now the idea is that uh, instead of doing the calculations again and again why can't we just do the calculation within one function which is a very old concept of programming about if anything is iterative or happening again and again just create a generic function and use it instead of uh, multi multiple times using it at a different location within the program. So let's go ahead and create the reactive function with this uh, idea. And we will going to create, let's say, empty react. And within that, we will use the reactive function or the reactive keyword to create a function. And within that, we will specify uh, this this particular statement to be honest so I'll just copy this and put it over here so that is basically saying that whenever I want to use reactive functions in any of the functions it will going to be based on this data set which is having mpg the part of the empty cars data set as well as uh, input from the user so once I am done I have done that what I can do is in these functions I can remove this and I just need to specify empty react that's it so one other uh, one other uh, differentiation is that it does not uh, start with the output or prefix with the output it start with the name of the function as you can see but other functions since they are connected to the UI they are starting with the output so always there is a differentiation when you are doing that and easily identify okay this is the reactive one this is uh, again a reactive one but associated to the output so empty react I have specified I'm done similarly in summary I just sorry about that uh, where is my cursor all right here it is I'll just remove and say empty react parenthesis I just noticed I need to specify parenthesis over here I'll save it save this and finally here with empty cars what I need to do now is with empty react because that is what the function is and within the box plot the first value is fine uh, because that is what we have specified here which is part of mpg but second is dynamic so let's change this and use empty react again and like any other uh, operation that you do with a data frame where you have comma and before comma you have rows after comma you have column is specified too because we want to take the second column from the data set i think that should be okay to complete this all uh, user-friendly application which is accepting input and let's run the app and see if there are any issues all right so first one is data which is mpgcyl and I can change all right it is working fine let's go to summary um, yeah it should be working fine and it is and finally let's go to the plot 
we are in cylinders so 4 6 and 8 cylinder let's change it to transmission it has changed to automatic or manual transmission and finally to gears so that's how you have created your entire application dynamic as well as reduce the server uh, processing by just specifying the uh, calculation once and using it again and again be uh, in your different reactive functions which is producing the output and the special part is this which is empty react function and then fetching the different columns within from the reactive function itself so that's the that's the key part I would say uh, for this video because apart from that everything is very very straightforward so if you have a requirement about manipulating even the reactive functions columns that's how you can do it there is another way by directly specifying the name of the object also and that's also is perfectly fine all right so that's pretty much all for this video and i will meet you in a new video with a new topic